Hello again. It's my intention to attempt a repeat performance of something I did quite a long time ago. I've made a list of what the swipe colors were on my very first video and I tried to remember what the shapes were. Back then I did not use a spatula to flatten out my colors but I'd like to try and do that now. Now, we said black, we said gold. So much for using a spatula to straighten out my colors. I really like gold. Actually, at this point, I don't expect it to be the same, but I'm trying to try and get my colors all the way to the edge. Because sometimes they do not go down over have a light purple, so I do not seem to have all the same colors I did. I must have used a few up, but I will make do. I think I will make do. It looks like we're using mostly metallics this time. Ooh, that's really super thick. I think this need, needed to be used in the worst way possible, actually. I will have to remember to clean that tip and to dump that out and add some Floetrol and stir it up and I think the most important thing in that entire first swipe is this dark purple. There were a lot of colors in there. I'm not even sure it wasn't a larger canvas. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. It's going to be that way, huh? If in doubt, take the top off. Yeah, the other painting looked like wisteria. It was totally beautiful. I actually stopped the rag part way. Things weren't going perfectly, but um, I was also not aware I was being uh, filmed, which made it kind of interesting. I have around here somewhere a color shift blue. And I am not sure where it is. I'm not even sure whether this is it or not. And I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Because it's going to be beautiful no matter what. I've decided. Push of blue. Moss green. It's not, I know this isn't the same. I think that was a color shift back then. This is far more green gold than moss green for sure. Neon, oh, yeah, let's do, let's finish this right up. Let's throw some of that back in here too. Let's see if we can keep from wasting it. I'd like to just turn that right over, but I can't. What else? Where's my list? I think I just used the color that I would cl most closely describe as navy, and I'm not sure that I really have any more mixed. So this is variation on a theme, and it's definitely that. There's my theme. Light turquoise, that means this color shift right here, which I adore. Even when it's not, wow, everything's kind of plugged, which is surprising because I've had, you know, new tips on everything for a while now. I have some of this, but my usual experience is when I go to squeeze this out, I get more Floetrol than I do other colors. I like this. I don't know if that's going to work down there or not. I think I've got more hardcore purple somewhere here. There's some darker stuff. That is the darkest purple I can find. And I know I need to finish up. Wow, that's kind of gross. Come out. Fine. <laughs> Do that way. Never did use my spatula. 
I think that is fine for that. I've got a bunch of that on my fingers that I want off. I know I finished with some light green and some gold, and that will be probably fine. There may even be more paint there than I actually need. Go figure. Similar color to the other one. Let's just change it all up. I never put any white in there at all. So I'm going to do that right now. I want some more of that blue because I can see right there there is not enough of it. And I think I'm going to want some more there. And I was not using this nice pink neon before. And I think I'm just going to be belligerent and go for it. Now I never got anything more out of here. Nope, that's not squeezing. I think I need some more turquoise though. And that's the same story. Okay, let's see what else we can find. There's some turquoise metallic. That'll be the ticket. I know that'll work. Oh, we get a two for, two for one. I'm going to have to check all my tips. I can see that now. All right, so. Said I started with black. And as strange as that configuration looks, I think um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt that. And maybe I'll tip some back and forth. I have got a black, no, excuse me, I've got a wet cotton rag. It's the hem of a t-shirt or a turtleneck. And I'm going to dip that, after I move this out of the way, right into that reservoir and that puddle of black paint. Now I'm going to pull it. Swipe. I'm going to have to be. I might go back down to the end and double swipe. Generally, what I've learned to do now is to let this fall down over the end so it covers it. Take any of the paint that's left on that rag, let it fall against the side as best I can to cover it. Move it over here too. Yeah, the, uh, the first video that was made was not made, made by me, and it is not really easily seen or found in my playlist. And I would like it to be both. We will be tipping. Look at that gorgeous rag. Makes me want to check the other side. Makes me want to keep going around and making sure everything's covered. This side is covered. I really could. <laughs> I really could. I could do something. I could. I'm not going to though. Okay, well, I want it to. In the bucket. Then it, that way I won't be tempted. Now this first one, I ran my skewer down through. And my intention is, now that I know a little bit more about what I'm doing, is to do the same thing. Only this time I will make sure to wipe it off in between. a lot of paint there. The colors came out fairly similar. It's just what I wanted. It was good to make a list even if I didn't do it exactly the same. I'm just going to keep wobbling those back and forth because I like that pattern. I see you bug do not land in my painting. I think if I'm going to torch it all, I'm going to do it right now. A 
waterfall effect. Oh, I'm glad I had some freezer paper at the end of that because it's coming right off. I think I'm on level again. I have my tubing and I'm going to use it. I'm happy. I did, I got what I wanted. Just going to expose a few more colors. Turn this around so it stops dripping off that end and starts to level out for the other one. Because I don't really mind if it falls a bit down this way. I like the gold up at the top. I like the gold at the bottom. I just generally like gold in general. There I go being articulate again. Now I think I might have gone back into that other one and um, added some gold or something at the bottom. And I don't think I need to do that with this. It's a little more simple and not quite as dramatic. But just the same, it's dramatic enough. Nothing and nobody is going to keep me from using my straw, I want to tell you what. Why not? Beautiful colors. I'm really pleased with that. I want to drag some of that gold down here though. And I can actually put gold onto my skewer if I so desire and drag it down through. But I'm also not really minding what's actually happening. So I'm trying to be a good partner to the accident that's accidental art at this moment. Throw a few spirals in there this time. Can't remember if I did last time or not. But I really love love them. I don't think it took nearly. It was two parts last time, so this took a lot less time. My normal inclination would be to like, hey, do I need any more purple down there or something else? But I think that this is. Um, we used up a lot of our time. I didn't need Rain-X, although it wouldn't hurt my feelings to use some, um, maybe another time. Don't ask me why I did that. I just want to break up the uniformity of it a little bit and uh, add some interest up there. I also like seeing what's going to happen when I do stuff that's weird. <laughs> okay, well, cool. Just about the right amount of everything. Agitating the paint ought to have allowed the torch to sell up a few more places. Is okay with me. It's a little more slick looking than the last one. It looks like I got some spots I wouldn't mind throwing a little more black paint on just to cover the canvas. But other than that, we are pretty well done. And uh, Mariette, if you're listening, your trick worked. Your, your help with the keeping cool trick. 
tell you in person. <laughs> okay, well, other than wiping that skewer off and spreading that black paint around a little bit so it melds in with the rest, I gotta tell you, it's nice that feeling to know that I can do what I want and get away with it. <laughs> It's just the way I am. So, cool. I'm going to see what you can see. Make sure I gave you the full view. And celebrate the day. Here you go. You have the whole view now. I'm very pleased. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, I hope I can continue to inspire you for as long as you care to watch. And that was fun. Although it could use a little more of that purple, my favorite color. <laughs> but then I always feel that way about pretty much everything. So, have a good one. I'll talk to you again soon. See you in the next video. Bye for now.